Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing around with the Norvina Volume 1 palette to recreate this ice cream cone look that Norvina wore in one of her iconic palettes campaign launch photos. If you're interested in seeing how I got Norvina's ice cream glam, as well as an inside look at how this gorgeous palette performs, go ahead and just keep watching. I can fly. First off, we've got to get these brows in check, so I'm going to be using the ABH Brow Powder Duo in the shade Blonde to fill in my brows, using the lightest shade first in the front part of my brows and brushing that out, and using the darker shade towards the tail end of my brow for some extra emphasis. Then using the brand new Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer, I'm going to use this to carve out my brows and make them look extra sharp and crisp. Then grabbing the ABH Eye Primer, I'm going to add this onto my lid since we are doing a very bright eye look today and I really want those colors to pop. I love using a beauty sponge to further blend out this primer because I feel like it really gives me a nice freshly blended out base. Now dipping into the gorgeous ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette, I'm picking up the shade A5 and I'm going to begin blending that out into my crease to start off a transition. And I'm going back in with the shade C1, which is a nice white shade to blend that out and give us a really seamless blend. After I'm happy with that, I'm going to pick up the shade A2 and begin blending that into my crease underneath that pink shade we just laid down to further add some depth and dimension to the eye. Now taking the shades B4 and D5 mixed together, I'm going to blend this into the crease underneath those two previous shades just to further add some darkness and some deep tone to the eye to add further contrast. Using our ABH eye primer once again, we're going to use this to cut our crease. The super liquidy formula of this product makes it super easy to get that super crisp cut crease line, so this is definitely my go-to for cut creases and I definitely recommend it. Now we're going to lightly pack on the shade D4 from the Norvina Volume 1 palette onto our lid to kind of replicate that teal shade that Norvina has on her eyelid. And to further that teal, I'm mixing in some of C1 and D1 to really get that teal bright blue color. Definitely don't be afraid to mix shades and eyeshadow palettes that you have to create new shades and get the optimal use and money out of the palette. Picking up that shade A5 once again, I'm going to begin blending that into the outermost corner. I'm really thinking this is the shade that Norvina used in her launch campaign photos, but I am just going off the photo and guessing here, so... It's giving me the effect I want, so we're gonna go with it. Now mixing together the shades B4 and D5 once again to really deepen up that outer corner and give us that smoky glam effect that we're really looking for. And I'm using a makeup wipe to get rid of any fallout that ends up on my cheeks. Now I'm going to use the ABH liquid liner to draw a line across my top lash line. This just makes my lash line look a lot more crisp and sharp and honestly hides the false lashes a lot better when I go to apply them. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to our lashes to give us some length and darken them up. And we're going to be applying the Lily Lashes in the style Sydney to our lashes to give us that drama that we're looking for. I absolutely love these lashes. Be sure to dry off the glue before you apply them so they don't slip and slide all over your lids. Just a tip. Now we're going to be applying my absolute favorite primer at the moment, the Milk Hydro Grip. I used to not be a primer person, but this primer seriously makes my makeup last so much better, so I definitely have to apply this and cannot skip this step. Now I'm using the new ABH foundation and applying this onto my skin in dots first, and then we're going to go ahead and blend this out. Absolutely love the dewy finish of this foundation. It's quickly become one of my new favorites. Grabbing the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer once again, we're going to apply this to the normal area the under eyes, nose, chin, you guys know the drill. Then I'm going to use the new ABH loose setting powder and put this on my under eyes in any areas that may get oily throughout the day, any areas that may crease, you know, all that good stuff. Now picking up that shade A5 once again, we're going to begin really smoking out that lower lash line to give us that nice sultry effect. Grabbing that shade C1 on a fluffy brush to further blend this out and give us a really smoky, seamless look. Picking up the shades B4 and D5, I'm going to focus these mostly on the outermost corner of my lower lash line to really add that depth into the eye look. 
I'm spraying my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to be sure this shade A1 really pops on my inner corner to really brighten up that eye. Going into my MAC Studio Fix Contour Palette, I'm going to begin contouring my face, giving it a little bit of chiseledness and shrinking down that forehead area a little bit. You guys know the drill. And we'll throw some nose contour in there as well. We're going to be using this Lancome blush that I do not know the name off the top of my head right now, but as always, all products will be listed down in the description bar down below, but we're just going to be using this to add some color to our face, nose, and chin because I like to apply blush everywhere, okay? Using the ultimate highlighter, in my opinion, the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter. I'm actually an affiliate with ColourPop now. If you guys want, my code will be on the screen right now. If you guys want to use that code when you're checking out with ColourPop, I do make a small commission, but receive money off on your order, so hey, double win right there. Now I'm just finishing off the bottom lash line with some more of that Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm going to begin lining my lips with a pinky nude pencil, and filling that in with a nude liquid lipstick. I believe this is Milkshake by ABH, but don't quote me on that to finish off the look and hopefully match the lip color that Norvina was wearing in her campaign photos. Could certainly stop here for a gorgeous colorful glam look, but we're gonna take it further and create that ice cream cone glam. I'm using the ABH liquid lipsticks in the shades of Poets and Heathers to draw some little hearts on the sides of my eyes. And we're gonna add some various gems onto the sides of my eyes to kind of replicate the way that Norvina had hers. This was kind of tedious, but we're just gonna skip to the end and show you the pretty part. Okay, so you could definitely stop here, but again, we're gonna take it further, take some orange face paint onto a nice dense brush and blend this down my neck to start creating our ice cream cone neck piece. Then using a pink shade of the Moon Creations Face and Body Water Activated Paint, I'm going to add this onto my shoulders and chest area. Using our good old ABH Luminous Foundation, I'm going to use this on a precise little detail brush and begin drawing some drips coming down from the cone area of our neck piece to really emphasize that drippy ice cream cone effect that I think Norvina was going for. Then on a more precise detail brush, I'm going to pick up some more of that orange face paint and fill in those drips. I'm really going in and covering the entirety of my neck with this orange face paint so none of my natural skin shows through and ruins the illusion. Now using our Norvina Volume 1 palette, once again, I'm picking up the shade E2 and I'm creating a diagonal checkered pattern to replicate that of an ice cream cone to kind of give us a guide of where our shading is going to go. Then using various oranges, browns, and blacks from the palette, I'm going to use these on a flat shadow brush to shade in these checkered areas where the ice cream cone kind of divots in and create some real depth and dimension to this look. I actually love the ice cream cone part. I think it was actually my favorite part of this entire look. Using the shade C1 from the Norvina Volume 1, I'm going to shade in the bottom part of each diamond shape on the ice cream cone to really make those areas pop and give them some highlight. Grabbing our Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer once again, I'm going to use this in the areas in between each shaded checker piece just to add some further dimension and really make those shaded areas pop out. I feel like this part really brought the whole look together and cleaned everything up really nicely and almost made it look a bit more realistic. Using some more blacks and browns from the Norvina palette, I'm going to shade in that area where the dripping part of the ice cream cone meets the pink part of our face paint, if that makes sense. It's kind of easier to watch what I'm doing instead of me trying to explain. Now I'm using some pink, blue, and purple water activated face paint to create some drips coming down from that ice cream cone area and making it look a little bit more like an ice cream glam rather than just an ice cream cone, if you get what I mean. I'm just kind of randomly placing these and swiveling my brush as I lead my way down. Ideally, I would have liked to create paint drips using this face paint, but it didn't really get as wet and drippy as I wanted it to, so I kind of just had to use my makeup brushes and make it look like it was actually dripping. Grabbing our gemstones once again, of course, we have to add some glitz and glam to this look, so I'm just randomly placing these using some tweezers to kind of replicate that glam look we got going on near our eyeballs and just kind of bringing it down towards our cone area like Norvina had in her look. I'm then using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and spraying this over my face to give us that luminous dewy effect, letting that sit down. And with that, you guys, this is the final look using the Norvina Volume 1 palette to replicate her campaign photo showcasing this palette. That ice cream gland photo really stuck out to me and I knew I had to recreate it, so I really hope that you liked how this turned out. I'm super happy with it. I love how the cone turned out and the eye look. Let me know if you're purchasing the Norvina Volume 1 palette in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
subscribe for more EBH content and creative looks for me. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be my Face Awards Top 5 video. Be on the lookout for that. I'm going to need your guys' help with voting. And yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.